Hi guys, welcome. I'm Monica. I'm Dundella. And we're the Reno Girls. If this is your first time joining us, we talk about all things entrepreneurship, like Airbnb, Turo, um, getting involved in real estate, business credit, business credit, yes. Um, so are, if those things that are interesting to you, then please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you are our current community members, welcome back. Yay. Today we're going to talk about what is a Paydex score. So the Paydex score is, I would say, proprietary for Dun and Bradstreet. Like they're the ones who came up with what this. So when you're hearing like Paydex score, what's your Paydex score? You know, um, from vendors or from you know um, other people that you want to do business with. Um, you know, that's what they're talking about. That's a score that's generated. Um, by Dun and Bradstreet, and what it does is, what it primarily does is um, accesses your risk of payment history. Okay, so like, um, do you pay your bills on time, or do you pay them early, or do you pay them, the, or do you pay them late? So the score ranges from zero to one hundred. We feel like eighty and above is like a good place to be at. Right. Now, does that happen all the time? No. I mean, you know, does it happen all the time that you stay there? You know, is what we're saying. No, you know, your your payday score could fluctuate, but that's what we feel like you should gear your score towards. Right. Paying early. Uh, we said that before, um, you know, in previous videos is like, you know, we suggest like at least five days before, the due, date, before yes. the due date to go ahead and pay that bill. Off. And now, and, e and even with gas cards, what we have learned is try to pay those like as soon as, it, as, as you can, because sometimes the gas cards are, I know ours, um, you know, they're net 15 um, mm -hmm. and not um, um, a net 30. So, I mean, I guess it depends on like which gas card that you have. Um, so definitely try to pay those off, you know, as soon as you can. Right. And they don't invoice properly either, no, do they? Because no, it's tricky. Yeah, their invoicing is tricky. So you have to make sure you catch that bill because shoot, they send you an invoice and it's already past your 15, <laughs> 15 days and, and they say, oh, you overdue. You're like, I just got the bill, man. Yes. So yeah, those gas cards are tricky, but they're worth having. You just have to watch them. Like as soon as you go swipe, just put it on your calendar, like 10 days later, you need to go ahead and pay that. And we have an infographic, we'll put that up. So hopefully that'll be rolling behind us here on the score ranges that, um, you know, from directly from Dun & Brassery and, you know, and what the significance in each category is. But really the bottom line is um, pay pay a little bit early, like we, like we said, and then, and make sure that you are, um, you know, establishing credit with the right suppliers and vendors. And what we mean by that is like, you want to find out what is their criteria. Like Dondella just said, like you want to find out what their criteria is, um, like the net 15. Um, mm -hmm. Not to say that you won't know that at the beginning, but just I would say that th this is what I had to start doing is like have some type of calendar system to where yeah. that you can know like, okay, this is XYZ vendor, you know, they do a net 15. So, you know, I'm going to pay if I order on the, uh, you know, on the first or whatever, and it's doing a 15th, then, you know, I'm going to pay between the 8th and the 10th or something, you know, I'm going to make sure that that payment is, is received. So the relationship between uh, what, how you're paying um, how, how are you paying that credit that's been established to you and if you're paying it off or if you know running the revolving credit all that is part of the calculation right and it's important you know to again like Monica said make sure that you're paying your bills on time but it's important to also make sure that you're connecting with the right vendors so Especially if you're just starting out with your on your business credit journey and you haven't established anything, you want to make sure that you're going with vendors that report. Yeah. You know, there's no, I'm not to say that there's no point, but 
there the point is you want to get a vendor that reports yes. you know even if you, you go you can go get another vendor that where you're getting stuff cheaper from okay that's all well and good but it doesn't help you build your credit profile so you know it's important that you get the right vendor and the right vendors that report whether they're reporting to dun and bradstreet or experian or transunion which you know transunion is always difficult because they they scoring is is real kind of wacky yes. you know mm -hmm. we um, don't like them too much but business we. equifax you know, and that's yeah. someone, and, that, and that's something that's a little tricky too because not a lot of vendors report to right. them. But like she's saying, and, and like I was saying earlier, it's just uh, know as much details as you can behind behind you know your right supplier and your right vendor, and then and have a place that you're keeping all that information so you know you can be on point. Because one thing that I that we've noticed that and not a lot of people talk about or at least not that we've seen is transitioning because like you know maybe you don't want to use tier one forever i mean True. you know and so we want to make sure that we're relaying and our messaging is that you know we want you to transition out of that tier and get to where you're trying to go to like maybe you're just trying to get it established because like you want to buy a franchise or right. you know you're getting ready to buy some property um you know whether that's re residential or commercial you know so we need to talk about things on that like Dondella just said that's benefiting you to get the reporting so you can transition into what those results are that you're looking for right and generally stop worrying about your personal credit when it comes to establishing your business credit it's totally separate yes Yes, yes, yes. And also uh, along that line is uh, not just stop worrying about it, but like don't freak out of, you know, about the personal guarantee, you know. Um, we okay. definitely wouldn't personal guarantee anything on tier one, you know, sure. but, you know, as you start moving along into the tiers and what's important for you and your business, you know, then you can decide like, oh, do I want this, this supplier is offering me 50K, you know, worth of, you know, but, but they want me to just personal guarantee just like in the event of default, mm -hmm. you know, that they'll not, not that they're personal guaranteeing my assets, you know, or, or anything like that, or, you know, or that I have to collateralize the assets, but just like in the event of default, then yeah, we're gonna put this on your personal credit report. Right. But that is like your business, you know your business, right? So you can assess like when it comes to that level, you know, when you're ready to um, get into the big dog, you know, and that you want to personal guarantee because it behooves right. you. For example, um, you know, we have a personal example of when we got um, our SBA loan. Yes. That's a personal guarantee, but that I mean that was important. It was. <laughs> so, so we wouldn't have said, "Oh no, no," because we don't want a personal guarantee. Keep all that money. <laughs> Child. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just trying to relate to you of uh, one, um, you know, understanding the payday score. Two, you know, how it relates to you paying your vendors and suppliers. Three, when to move through the tiers and and know and assess your own business of, you know, of what's important. Exactly. If this information resonates with you, um, then definitely continue to follow us, like and subscribe, share, share, share with a friend or a family member or another like-minded entrepreneur. Exactly. All right, guys, we'll see y'all next time. Bye.